Yo, what's up guys? Sleep Bass Fisherman here. I'm going to take you guys through my top 5 favorite lures to use uh, for bass fishing. So, uh, yeah, let's go okay. So, the first lure I'm going to start you guys off with today is the Live Target Frog. Uh, I like to use this frog when it's early morning, late night, around weeds, or pads, or just um, overlaid trees, stumps, and stuff like that. Uh, I have never really caught any fish on it. Except for one little guy, but I still love to use this lure. The reason why I say this is one of my favorite lures is because I've had a bunch of fish blow up. And I, to me, there's just nothing really better than having a fish blow up on the top water lure. You get to see that fish explode and try to eat that lure. So yeah, to me, that's pretty exciting. Uh, I usually use this real, I mean, uh, sorry, not real, this uh, this frog on my bait caster. Uh, Bill Dance Signature Series. It's a 7 foot medium heavy action rod. Uh, I use that frog on it. Uh, majority of these um, lures here, I usually use on a spinning reel or my um, now gives me my new quant my new quantum eight gear ratio uh, reel. That's what I'll be using them all on now. And the spinning reel, uh, the Bill Dance isn't really in the picture anymore. Bill Dance is going to be more for uh, flipping and pitching, all that kind of stuff now. So yeah, there's a the frog. Um, next lure. It's going to be the bait ball, so, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, the next one we're going to be brewing is a live target bait ball. Uh, both two live targets and two clips. So, uh, yeah, this live target, actually, I've got it new. I love. I just love to fish this lure. Um, I fish, I like fishing this lure on a spinning reel, to be honest. I like to fish it around uh, not too much cover. I like to fish it about 12 feet of water where there's a bit of weeds on the bottom so I can tick, so I can tick, um, tick the bait up top of the... The weeds or when there's rocks where I can cause some reaction strikes down there because to me when you're fishing at a when you're fishing a crankbait you want to fish around cover or drop off and you don't want to fish uh too deep and like 30 feet of water so you want to fish on like a ledge so you can cast diagonal to the ledge and drag it off the ledge and uh pull that bait back to the boat so it starts shallow and gets deeper and then ticks off rocks and causes and causes some ruckus down there and once that fish sees there's something going on down there and that sees that bait and it's kicking up mud that fish is more than likely going to go over and investigate and more than likely give it a reaction strike and if you miss that reaction strike more than more most of the time now you've got that fish's attention so when you do something again and it bangs off a rock or something again that fish is just going to hammer it so yeah that's how i like to fish the left trigger bait ball so stay tuned for okay, the next so the next bait we're going to be reviewing is um is a husky jerk. It's in Fire Tiger color. It's uh, pretty big. I think it's about five inches. Uh, three three um, eagle claw hooks on it. Doesn't go too deep. It's a shallow runner. It's kind of a jerk bait. Husky jerk. Uh, I like to fish this when I'm around really just shallow water and stuff in the water. Uh, I don't like to fish this in deep water. I just like to fish it casting at the shore when I'm shore fishing or all that other stuff. Um, I don't really have too much to say about this lure other than I've caught a couple fish on it. Uh, it's good to troll with. I have a the deeper one, but it's not a husky jerk. It is fire tire color and it's jointed and it goes six to eight feet. And I like to troll with that one fishing a pike. You guys are gonna see some pike videos up on this channel. I know I'm called Leap Bass Fisherman, but there's gonna be like pike and walleye and lots of bass fishing. So uh, yeah, like I said, I don't really have much to say about this lure. So stay tuned for the next. Bait. Okay, guys, I'm back with another bait. Uh, this is a cotton cordel. Uh, as you guys can see, I've caught a couple pike on it. Little, just little guys, nothing really big. You can see the teeth mark on it. It goes three to four feet. Uh, two two claw hooks on it. It's in the silver and a uh, shiner color. Black back on it. It really shines really nice. Uh, like I said, not too much to say about this one. I throw this one on my bait caster. Uh, build dancing interest series. Well, I used to. Now I throw it on my quantum. Um, so yeah, not much to say about this. I like to fish this in and around docks, uh, cast it towards and diagonal the bank and reel it back towards me. Uh, I like to fish this when there's, um, dirt around. So that way it's kind of like, you see the black, the black reflects off of it in uh, sunny days because it, uh, makes it shine in the water. It looks really cool. It looks like a shiner or a smelt or any of that kind of bait fish. So yeah, there's that lure, uh. Stay tuned for the next okay, bait. guys, welcome back to the next bait. Uh, last but not least, the Strike King spinner bait. Uh, I love fishing spinner baits. I've caught some really big fish on spinner baits. Uh, I'm actually going to show a picture of my uh, personal best caught on it on a spinner bait, not this exact spinner bait, but I'm going to show a picture of a of uh, my pers my PB of a bass 
I was caught on a spinnerbait. Uh, I love fishing spinnerbaits. That's my usually go-to. I usually fish spinnerbaits in and around everything. I love fishing them under bridges, casting them toward li lily pads, uh, weeds, uh, rocks. Basically, I love fishing around everything, and I love fishing it around fallen trees and stumps because usually a lot of fish will hang out there. You just cast it, let it sink for a minute, and um, just give it a little pop, and then reel it. These uh, This Strike King spinnerbait has a really heavy head to it. So I can really cast it far. I know a lot of spinner baits that don't really have that don't really have the weight that it'd be nice for them to have, so you can bomb it out there. Uh, yeah, this is in a I think it's a willow leaf, just a standard spinner bait, one blade. Um, actually, I think it came in two, but I think I lost one blade. But yeah, this is my uh, so, so far my favorite lure to fish with is a spinner bait. Uh, I'm sure you guys are gonna see a bunch of um, videos of the spinner bait. Uh, spinnerbait fishing, so yeah. So uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna show this uh, personal best uh, bass right now, and um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Please, please give this video a like and thumbs up, and comment any questions you guys have and any video suggestions. I'm open to do anything. So I yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Like and subscribe, and uh, thanks. And here's the PB.